सोनू वालिया आपका बहुत बहुत स्वागत है टाइम्स पर यू नो पीपल हैव बीन वेटिंग टू सी यू सिंस एजेस नाउ थैंक यू सो मच फॉर जॉइनिंग या लोगों को पता ही नहीं है कि आप बॉम्बे में हो पीपल थिंक यू आर इन यूएस वी रीड दैट यू शटल व्हाट्स हैपनिंग हेलो विकी एंड नमस्कार एंड सस्ट्रकाल टू एवरीबॉडी हु इज वाचिंग एंड इट्स अ रियल प्लेजर टू बी हियर यस आई हैव बीन ट्रैवलिंग अ लॉट I do shuttle between US and London and uh, India, and uh, it just so happened that I came to India in January 2020, and uh, COVID happened. उसके बाद तो सबको पता है जो जहाँ है वहीं पे everybody was like stuck. So I have been in India since January 2020 now, and before that too, I have been traveling up and down. Correct me if I'm wrong, but you are in mm-hmm. Bombay. largely because mm-hmm. now you have turned producer yes i have it's my maiden production vicky and uh, uh, with the help of my brother in law vinit uh, we have produced our first hindi feature film it's called jogya rocks it's a musical love story and i can't wait to share it with the rest of the world wait. we'll talk about it at length but little later you know first a few okay. questions which are really people want to no is that when we google you we find that you have a daughter that's my sister's daughter okay she is very tall she looks a lot like me okay okay but that's my sister's daughter she my sister lives in new zealand she has two restaurants there and uh, myra that's her name mm-hmm. so she goes she looks a lot like me so yeah everybody thinks she's my daughter my sister doesn't like that one bit <laughs> but yeah yeah every parent wants the child to resemble yes he or she loves it when people tell them from outside ki aap jaisa dikhte hain bilkul bilkul but i love it when people say that she looks like me so i'm like yeah i am her baby <laughs> so no tell me aap itne din kya kar rahe the us mein aur kyun nahi aaye india mein kyun aapne bollywood ko छोड़ दिया, if I can say that. Uh, that was a personal choice, Vicky. Uh, हुआ ये था कि जो फिल्में मैं कर रही थी, उसके बाद एक दौर ऐसा आया कि, uh, I think मैंने जो अपनी पहली फिल्म में किया था, that was a very uh, a different role, you know. It was a very grey character. Uh, आज भी लोग अगर मुझे जानते हैं और पहचानते हैं तो वो मेरी पहली फिल्म खून भरी मांग की वजह से जहां पे भी मैं जाती हूँ लोग यही कहते हैं कि मैम फॉर्चुनेटली ये कहते हैं कि आपने फिल्म इतनी जल्दी क्यों छोड़ दी विच इज म्यूजिक माई यर्स बट दे ऑल एप्रिशिएटेड दैट फिल्म वेरी मच एंड द कैरेक्टर माई कैरेक्टर ऑल्सो सो आई एम रिमेम्बर्ड फॉर दैट आई थिंक विकी उस समय पे ये पहला कैरेक्टर ऐसा था जो ग्रे था जिसमें ग्रे शेड्स थे शी वॉज नॉट अ बैड गर्ल शी वॉज अ गुड गर्ल नंदिनी एंड शी डिड अ फ्यू बैड थिंग्स अगेंस्ट हर विल बिकॉज शी लव दिस मैन सो आई थिंक वो कैरेक्टर जो है वो रेजोनेट किया ऑडियंसेस के साथ यू नो आज दैट सॉर्ट ऑफ सेट अ ट्रेंड टूडे एवरीथिंग इज ग्रे विच इज वंडरफुल बिकॉज दैट इज लाइफ दैट इज रियल लाइफ में कुछ ब्लैक एंड व्हाइट नहीं है यू नो नो बडी इज परफेक्ट नो बडी इज परफेक्टली गुड एंड नो बडी इज परफेक्टली बैड एवरीबडी इज ग्रे वी ऑल हैव हर गुड मोमेंट्स वी ऑल हैव आर बैड मोमेंट्स तो आई थिंक मेरा कैरेक्टर इतना लोगों को पसंद आया जिसकी वजह से आई एम वेरी ग्रेटफुल दैट आई गॉट द चांस टू पोर्ट्रेट एंड यस उसके बाद मुझे ऐसा कैरेक्टर मिला ही नहीं फिल्मों में यू नो so then i moved on to i think i did about 35 films after that and i enjoyed whatever roles i got i really enjoyed my time as an actress uh but something challenging mujhe us samay nahi mila then dd metro started and jab dd metro shuru hua tab wahan pe mujhe opportunity mili to portray certain roles which were again different and to my liking i did a lot of serials उस समय में भी आई थिंक आई वॉज वन ऑफ द फर्स्ट एक्टर्स फ्रॉम द बिग स्क्रीन टू कम टू टेलीविजन यू नो आई डिट साहिल आई डिट गुटन आई डिट बेताल पच्चीस आई डिट मिस्टर मिन टू वी टीवी 
I did a lot of serials. And then there came a point where I wanted personal time for myself. So I got married and I moved to the US. That is what, that was my personal choice. Before we go further, and it was a fantastic film, Moon Bari Maan, made by Rakesh Roshan, where you played this Nandini. Uh, what I want to know is that, how did you do that role so effectively? It was, it was, if I can say, a dance performance where people said, that you have danced better than Rekha. And you have heard this. That's Come on, don't tell, me, don't tell me that you haven't heard this. That's kind of them. But Vicky, to be very honest, uh, I think I was a fresh face at that time. You know? So just seeing a fresh face match up to uh, Rekha, who's been there, like Rekha Ji, who's been there for like years, I think that was uh, something that was. Uh, appealing to the audiences. So Isli, they were kind enough to say such pleasant things to me. But uh, she's a much better dancer. In fact, my designer friends, who are Abu Jani and Sandeep Khosla, who made me clothes for me, they came to the set and they saw them dance during the dance competition. And they saw me and saw me and they said, tell me one thing, tell me. They are giving the Kamal Master Ji steps, they are doing more than they are doing. I'm like, you know, with friends like you, I don't need enemies. Go away from here. So I'm going to demoralize people a lot. But uh, no, I think it's just that I was a fresh face. So people liked that I didn't have fresh face expectation that I would match up to her. So maybe that was a surprise. That was a surprise factor. That's why people liked it so much. But let's consider that as a motivational level. Because perhaps that also motivated you to go further and push the envelope as you danced along. I wasn't thinking anything, Vicky, at that time. I was just in the character. You know? So, when you're in the character, you don't have to worry about what you're saying. You don't have to worry I was just thinking that I'm Nandini. And what is Nandini going to do? So, I was just being the character. So, if people don't listen to people, then I won't be able to perform. Also, I must ask you that you wore a yellow swimsuit in that movie, in that particular song with Kabir Bedi, soon after the interval, if I'm not wrong. Mm. Did you have any apprehensions? Yes, in those days, heroines had started wearing more frequently than before. But did you have any reservations? Oh... Yes, very honestly, I was petrified, you know. Uh, but what helped me was that Kabir Bedi was wearing swimming trunks too. So the hero would be wearing a ganji and shorts and the girl would be in a swimming costume. Or he would be fully dressed and the girl would be in a swimming costume. But what that he was also wearing swimming trunks and I was wearing a yellow swimsuit and... Uh, I think the credit should go to Guruji because he had that uh, visual in his mind and uh, he convinced me to do it. I was totally anti it. I didn't want to do it. In fact, I said to him, I said, I don't swimming. So he cut off one antra because he thought I couldn't swim. You know, I tried to wriggle out of it. So he had got a body double also for me. But... Uh, but I'm so glad that he did convince me to do it because it became, it was very neat and clean. You know, I didn't get any backlash for it. I just got a lot of compliments for it. So yes, that was the credit, total credit goes to Guruji that he had the vision that he could see me, uh, you know, performing in the song in a swimsuit. So that's, the credit goes to him. You send the body double home? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and he was very annoyed with me. The song could have been a little longer, but I was very thrilled that I, I had got the better of him, at least in a little way. <laughs> so, what was uh, Rakesh Roshan's reaction when you told him that after the song got over, he came to me, came up to me, and he said very sternly, 
तुम्हें मालूम है मैंने एक अंतरा मोखड़ा काट दिया क्योंकि तुमने मुझसे ये झूठ बोला ऐसे मेरी बिकॉज आई वट एवर आई डन वॉज इन फॉर मी मैं उससे ज्यादा शायद ना कर पाती नो एक्चुअली मे बी आई वुड है प्रैंक I made a uh, Kabir Bedi dive a couple of times to show me how to do, and then I went there and I dived. So at that point, he did not catch on. But after a while, when the whole song got over, and that's when he realized that actually I had been faffing about it. That's when he came and he scolded me. But by that time, it was all shot and taken care of. Back up, ho chuka tha. <laughs> okay. You kept in touch with Rakesh Roshan because you got such a big break and such a you know so much of screen presence. Yes, on and off, on and off. I have, I have been in touch with him, but uh, not very often. But yes, definitely. Birthdays, marriage anniversary, I do, I do speak. What Bari Mang was not your first film, so. That's true, Vicky. A lot of people don't know this. Yeah, I got Khun Bari Mang because I had acted in a couple of films already, which were under production. Yeah, the first was Akarshan, right, and that was nearing completion, right, and the second was Mahadev, uh, which in which I had uh, performed a couple of dances, right. dance items. Yeah. So Guduji was actually apprehensive. If you notice, he has not launched any newcomer, except for his son and Amisha Patel, yeah. and me. he was very apprehensive about taking a new girl and then i showed him uh, i was dubbing for akarshan so i showed him a few reels of that and he realized ki chalo usko acting aati hai then uh, he was apprehensive because that dance competition was very important and very crucial for the film so he wasn't sure whether i could dance or not and you know, i didn't hear from him for about a month and then after a month he said uh, Can you dance? I said, yeah. So he said, uh, I said, I have done it. I have done two dance items in the film. He said, can I see it? I said, sure. And I showed him the reel of uh, those dance dances. And that's how I got the film. And you know, in that time, what happened was that in the making of films, from beginning to end, it was two years to take. You know. उस समय आई मस्ट से हैच ऑफ गुरु जी बिकॉज ही वॉज फर्स्ट वन टू डू दिस उन्होंने क्या किया कि स्टोरी कॉन्सेप्ट फर्स्ट डे ऑफ शूट से लेके रिलीज तक गैप ऑफ ओनली सिक्स टू सेवन मंथ्स जनवरी नाइनटीन आई थिंक वी हैड द फर्स्ट शॉट एंड ऑगस्ट इलेवेंथ एटी एट वी रिलीज द फिल्म सो देर वॉज अ फ्रेशनेस इन द फिल्म देर वॉज अू नो एवरीबडी लुक द सेम नहीं तो क्या होता था कुछ फिल्में दो साल लगती थी उनको बनने में पांच साल लगते एक फिल्म तो दस साल एक फिल्म मेरी ऐसी है जिसको दस साल लगे बनने में तो उसमें यू आर डिफरेंट सीन्स में यू आर लुकिंग मोटा पतला यू नो योर मेकअप इज डिफरेंट कॉस्ट्यूम इज दिन कॉल काली शंकर उसका तो मुझे पहला जी टू को फिल्म एंड ही कॉल मी अप वन आई वॉज इन स्टेट एंड ही सेट दू नो आपका कुछ बैलेंस क्यू है and i was very pleasantly surprised i said oh how sweet of you pehla ji mai to bhul bhi gayi thi he said no i have taken this uh, uh, taken over this project and you we owe you this much money so that was like a, i mean god bless him that was really sweet of him but uh, yeah that took 10 years in the making yeah so khun bari mang was not your first film when i said was of course wo aapka pehla experience nahi tha in front of the camera but that's right, that's your right. later films uh, sonu why didn't you bag a big one what was going wrong i think vicky again you know it was the same issue of being typecast you see it was a beautiful character it was a great character and people were seeing it as a negative character which was so sad because it wasn't a negative negative character but it was a, a you know and i think the roles that were offered to me after that i got offered 
आई मस्ट हैव सेड नो टू एटलीस्ट फिफ्टी फिल्म जहां पे मुझे सिर्फ नेगेटिव कैरेक्टर प्ले करने के लिए कहा जा रहा था एंड आई सेट वो वो ही जो यू नो इट वॉज अ वेरी टाइप कास्ट कैंड ऑफ थिंग एंड आई सेट नहीं ये मुझे नहीं करना है देन आई चोज थर्टी फाइव फिल्म वेर आई गॉट टू डू समथिंग डिफरेंट इन माई माइंड एंड आई थिंक यहाँ पे टाइप कास्ट बहुत जल्दी हो जाते हैं आपकी पहली फिल्म जो है डिटर्मिन्स हाउ पीपल विल परसीव यू आज लोग मुझे बोलते हैं यू नो आई गेट रिएक्शंस ऑन माय सोशल मीडिया अकाउंट दैट व्हाई डोंट यू गेट बैक टू वर्क गेट इनटू वेब सीरीज बिकॉज टुडे यू विल गेट अ चांस टू डू कैरेक्टर्स दैट यू कुडंट डू बैक देन एंड आई एम लाइक यू नो दैट्स सो थॉटफुल एंड यस इट्स ट्रू बिकॉज बैक देन आई डिड नॉट गेट दैट अपॉर्चुनिटी टू गेट टू प्ले इंटरेस्टिंग कैरेक्टर सो हैव यू स्टार्टेड अप्रोचिंग कास्टिंग डायरेक्टर्स फिल्म मेकर्स for the same uh, yes i have uh, received a couple of offers and uh, i'm you know i'm still waiting for that one role that sort of charges you and says okay this i have to do i think it has to click somewhere within you you know as an actor you have to be challenged you have to be charged i think jaise akarshan mein i was playing the uh, role of a, of an actress and her personal life and it was my first film so that was like a real challenge for me that i had to portray the personal life of an actress so aajkal to most of the heroines are tall but did the height factor go against you you were a tall girl and in those days if i remember correctly most heroines were not so tall that's true i was so uh, i am 58 and in those days i think i was probably the tallest heroine but what about television so no I did so much television Vicky. Yeah. Uh I was the first actor from films to come on to television. Yeah. I did uh, DD Metro mein I did uh, Sahil I did uh, Ghutan I did uh, Betal Pachi si mm. I did Mr Mintu and I got to work with some of the best talent I think I had Surinder Mohan ji as my director I had uh, Ravi Tandon ji as my director I had uh, I worked with uh, Uh, Vikram Murthy ji as my cameraman. So one thing is you know? that Sonu doesn't want repetitive roles. But you know, on the flip side, Sonu, there is one thing that if you, कि आपको roles ज़्यादा मिलते जाते हैं. अगर आप एक base form कर लेते हो, this is what I am strong at. This is what I am largely seen as. Why didn't you like to ride on that? I mean, you could have earned more. You could have been seen more. uh i'm glad you pointed that out vicky because yes it's true you know if i had gone for that uh, okay this is the glamour doll and this is the you know the modern yeah oh uh, i mean there are yeah, many top heroines and uh, many top heroes have continued to ride on their uh, repetitive roles mm-hmm. and what is later mm-hmm. termed as their strength so you regret i think that okay i could have earned more yes i did feel the lack of a support system that is true i think if i had had a support system i would have probably done a lot better what do you because mean? everybody i worked with a support system in the form of uh, correct advice uh, you know, correct advice uh yes you know like uh, my dad is from the army my mother is a housewife so they were very simple people they had no clue about the film industry Mm. and film industry may you need you know somebody to guide you to uh tell you the truth yeah you know i had this really uh, funny hang up about being an actress and mm. uh, my ideals were sagar saradi and you know i was i saw myself as somebody uh, belonging to art cinema whereas there was nobody to tell me that listen you belong more to the commercial world so just stick to that and focus on that and work towards that you know so yes i do wish vicky at that time there had been someone to guide me of uh, you know who could have uh, taken over the reins of my career and told me what films to sign uh, what roles to do and how to go about it unfortunately i did not have that privilege so but then i just feel grateful for what i did manage to do and i think that's wonderful coming to jogia rocks which you are producing 
is there a possibility that uh, you may opt for ott yes definitely we are in talks with a few channels and uh, things are promising looking up and i think we should be able to tell us about it uh, i i also want to know why you are not in it oh i Temptation think ott so no no i think uh, because i came from nowhere you know and i came into the industry and i didn't have any backing as such i was fortunate i got good ji and when very man became such a big hit and i got recognized and i got fame and name and everything but um, i sincerely if you really want to know the truth i sincerely wanted to open a production house where people would get work uh, and where we would sort of uh, promote new talent you know and give them a platform on which to uh, showcase their talent and that was the thought so i'm very happy because uh, uh, rohit bakshi kirti kulhari suzan mukherji they have done a tremendous job in the film and uh, i think uh, kirti has taken off in a very big way she is really a well known name today and that was the reason why i think uh, we set out with that you know our hearts were in that let's promote she, other people she is a fantastic actress but tell us about this is. what is she playing in it what's the story uh this is a musical love story it's about a guy from a small town whose parents you know have the normal expectations rather his father has the normal expectations that he will follow in his father's footsteps and become a banker you know and his journey from being a nobody to becoming a somebody and all the people who play a role in his life in shaping his career again i'm talking about the support system the support system that he gets which makes him what he is a rock star i don't want to reveal more than that i would love for people to watch it and see for themselves you use this word support system twice i would like to conclude this interview by asking you to elaborate in detail that if you were to go back in your days what were the things in the industry that you found were missing are you also trying to say that people didn't rally around you because you know uh, filmmakers have certain favorites whom they keep casting frequently now that's a tricky one bikki i no what i'm talking about uh, a support system is somebody to guide you and that is on a personal level i'm talking on a personal level you know a very efficient manager or i think uh, like riku was uh, handling madhuri's work and you know oh uh, you need somebody who is tavi <clears throat> uh, from the industry who knows what it takes who knows how it works and who knows sort of how to thing i'm talking <clears throat> about that i'm not talking about uh, uh aur ye to hota hi hai vicky because uh hota kya hai ki if you have a comfort level with somebody if you are in a comfort zone with the actors that you worked in you know for instance now we're working on a couple of projects and we are writing stories and the first people you think of is the people that you already worked with because you share a certain personal rapport and a comfort zone and yes it's prevalent it will happen like because you would much rather work with somebody whom you are comfortable with you know sometimes you meet a new person and you don't like the attitude or you don't like the behavior the first part of the concluding question that mm-hmm. was there something that you didn't like in those days was something missing which you uh, you wanted to change the attitude towards uh, the heroine and the actresses that they should be typecast you know that definitely you had this very ye heroine hai ye vamp hai that that outlook just bugged me it was so and ye vamp hai to isko waterfall ke niche dance karwa do you know it was a very cliched kind of a 
perception about women. I am so glad, Vicky, that today, when I'm seeing what is happening in India today, there's so much progress. You know, women are playing characters which you wouldn't dream was possible in those days. They are being negative. They are being, uh, you know, they are playing all kinds of roles today. And at that time, it was inconceivable. It was just not, uh, uh, you know, it was just not uh, visualized by anybody. I would have loved to have changed that. I wish I could have probably gone, um, you know, become a producer back then. If my support system was, I would have. Because I knew that this is what the industry needed. They needed more interesting characters. Shahrukh did that. He broke through. He became, you know, he came with an anti-hero uh, role. And he broke that typecast uh, thing. He became an anti-hero superstar. Ban gaya. So yes, and the second thing was the professionalism. I think Amir did that. Amir came in and he, he worked in a lot of films and then he decided, sorry, we need to be professional. I'm going to be only working in two films a year or three and at a stretch, you know. So he started that precedent. So yes, these two things, I think the Khans, you have to give them the credit for that. They changed that, that completely. I would have loved to have done that, but someone did it. And that's that one. box formula is over. Sonu Walia is happy. But more importantly for Sonu Walia, she has decided firmly that she's back. She's yes. ready to the first film as a producer and she wants to act also now. That's really great news. And thank you so much, Sonu, for joining me for this lovely interview. It's been a pleasure talking to you, Vicky, and I'm so glad to be back. And I'm really looking forward to facing the camera again. <laughs>